as we are out here at the Steins New Mexico Cemetery. Out that way is Lordsburg. This is the 10 freeway right there. If you go under the bridge at Steins Road, you'll see the cemetery on the, I guess it would be the south, wait, yeah, south, kind of southwest side. There's a lot of headstone damage here. Like people have just trashed the cemetery. There's some really old stuff here. It's, it's, pretty, it's, it's pretty shameful. Little headstones like that. I'm gonna look up, look up some of these names when I get home, like Henry Guess. casing here. Gotta watch out for the Choya here. But um Lyle. Hmm. Henry H. Lyle. Died in 1910, so I'm free to get a headstone that awesome way out here in the sticks. He'd be a, an important guy, so all this uh, old wrought iron, like this wrought iron stuff. Pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's, it's this is one of those cemeteries that has not been kept. Nobody's caring for it at all. It's just going to end up basically disappearing in the next, you know, 20, 30 years. This will probably be not much left of this. Kind of sad. But yeah, there's a few more headstones in there, and cactus is just overtaking everything. And there's some bodies here, but no headstones. And this one looks like it actually got dug up. Like somebody took it. I'm sure there's more around where we're standing, but right here it's kind of risen up right here. Worth a stop, walk around, you'll see a few names and some old writing, but for the most part, there's not much left. There's a ghost town on the other side. The dog's really interested in that pole. Huh. What is it? What is it? What is it? Get it. Hmm. There's something on there. Something rubbed up against it. A coyote or something. But, um, yeah, worth a stop if you're into the old mining ghost town cemeteries. Definitely come through here. Short, you know, it's a short little walk. Pretty small. I'm going to look it up and see if, you know look up more about it, maybe put it in the footnotes for you guys. But yeah, there's not much left. Looks like somebody rode a horse in here not long ago. Shame that it went went downhill like this. Like this one, look at this. You can see some riding in there. It's in Spanish. I happen to know Spanish, but 90% of that's covered up. It's like 1856. You gotta remember in this area. This was definitely Mexico's territory. You know, this is a, a stronghold uh, for Mexico well into the late 1800s, so we're really close to the border as it is. But these are interesting graves I saw. I wonder if these were babies or or what, but they're um, they're all the same. Sure. 
not, mu not much left of them. So, that's it. Right here off the 10 freeway.